Hello, and welcome to another episode of History Ridiculous. My name's Andy Green, and here she is right here, the real star of the show, Miss Biddy Jean Green. Today we're going to be talking about the history of UFOs. Jimmy Carter said if he became president, he would release all government UFO information to the public. Once elected, he decided not to due to what he described as national security concerns, which should help you sleep tonight. In 1989, billionaire Richard Branson released a hot air balloon shaped like a UFO and hired a little person dressed as E.T. to scare the ever-loving shit out of people when it landed. I'd have been like, Oh! The first CIA director stated in a letter to Congress that high-ranking Air Force officers are soberly concerned about UFOs. But through official secrecy and ridicule, many citizens are led to believe the unknown flying objects are nonsense. The guy's just the first CIA director... In 1978, pilot Frederick Valentich and his plane disappeared during a UFO encounter. His last communication was, quote, Melbourne, that strange aircraft is hovering on top of me again. It's hovering, and it's not an aircraft. That was the dude's last words, so, oh my god. In 1980, a Peruvian fighter pilot chased and shot at a UFO in what is the only documented case of a military aircraft successfully firing at a UFO. So I bet that guy was like, that was a crazy day when I jot at a UFO. This has been History Ridiculous. If you enjoyed it for some reason, then click subscribe. Me and Biddy Jean Green, thank you. We'll see you for the next thing.